Have you ever tried considering how transportation will look in the future? Will we still be driving cars, or will our modes of travel be reshaped in a completely different way? Join us as we explore the future of transportation and the revolutionary technologies that will shape the way we move around the world. Hyperloop might sound like a concept out of a sci-fi movie. But what if we tell you that it has been proposed by one of the most passionate tech giants? Well, when Elon Musk takes up a mission, we can believe it will get done. Back in 2012, Elon Musk talked about Hyperloop as the fifth mode of transportation. It comprises three major components, tube, pod, and terminal. The tube refers to a low-pressured passageway. And what do low-pressure tubes have to do with the fifth mode of transportation? Well, in the absence of air friction, you can definitely expect the vehicle to move at a greater speed. Can you guess the speed of a Hyperloop? It's proposed to travel at 600 miles per hour, that's even more than the speed of an airplane. Sounds too good to be true. Well, we can't expect normal vehicles to move within those vacuum tubes. So, the pod will serve just like the vehicles. The pod will be accelerated by powerful magnetic forces. Finally, we have the terminals that will serve the role of pickup and drop-off points. The plan is not yet realized, but SpaceX is working to make it a reality. We just have to wait for it to get out there in the market. You might be thinking how can a coach make it to the list of futuristic transportation, right? But it's not a regular coach, it's a 3D express coach. When the roads become too populated, you definitely need something that can fly above all the vehicles. But we are not referring to air travel. The 3D express coach has an elevated design just like an underground tunnel in a building. It can easily allow light travel vehicles or LTVs to travel under them. The coach will travel at 60 km per hour. It's capable of carrying around 300 passengers at a time. The initial idea was proposed and executed by a Chinese company in 2016. It was soon stopped due to some design issues. It might seem like a failed plan but other countries are reconsidering this technology. If they are able to perfect the design flaws, public transportation is definitely going to be transformed. Now comes the time to discuss a technology that's going to cover personal travel. How about getting a car that can drive on its own? Well, Tesla Autopilot mode has already made it possible to some extent. And we can even expect cars that can drive themselves without any human intervention. You can just chill around in your car watching a movie while the car is running on its own. Such a car will be completely based on sensing everything using sensors. We have a sensor for almost everything. We just need someone to put them all together in the form of a car. And the car, running purely on electricity would be the cherry on top, right? The company that's going to achieve this milestone is going to lead the industry in years to come. What if we tell you that the future not only promises smart cars but also smart roads? Just click the link in the top right corner to learn more about the roads of tomorrow. Next up on our list is the hoverbike. Heavy bikes are well reputed among bikers around the globe. But how about riding a bike that can fly high in the air? Well, you don't have to wait any longer. A company called Hoversurf is already selling flying bikes at a price tag of $150,000. It resembles a drone that has a cockpit-like structure for the rider. Let's talk about its speed. It can move around at a speed of 60 miles per hour. You can fly at 16 meters in height for around 25 minutes. You might be able to get one for yourself but beware of safety concerns. Heard about the bullet train? You might have come across magnetic levitation trains under different names. Well, the maglev train is a leveled up version of the bullet train. But what makes it rank among the futuristic modes of travel when it's already operating in various countries? Firstly, not all countries have adopted this technology. In fact, only three countries have launched maglev trains which include China, Japan, and Korea. Secondly, it doesn't run over traditional engines. Then how does it operate at an incredible speed of 330 miles per hour? Instead of using fossil fuels, it utilizes powerful electromagnets in all four corners. We all know that like poles repel each other, and unlike poles attract each other. This basic principle guides their propulsions over magnetic tracks. Would you believe that the train and the track never touch each other? They keep repelling each other until you reach your destination. 
so you can call them flying trains. Did you know that the earliest flight attempts in the history of aviation were unmanned? Now, we have to revive the same technology, but with more control over the flying object. Let us introduce you to the unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs of today. Seems like a newer technology, but we have all seen it already. You might be surprised to know that drones are also a variation of UAVs. Amazon is already using drones to deliver packages to their customers. But the applications of UAVs are endless. You can use them to gather data, penetrate hard-to-reach areas during emergency situations, and much more. We might need better technologies to run such reliable devices. But once we are able to do so, the future seems really promising. Now let's set our eyes to the horizon. The curiosity of humans has led them to space explorations. Once again, we have to talk about the SpaceX company. But this time, it's not about road travel. It's about traveling to space. Some of you might have already heard about it. Remember the Starship mission launched by SpaceX? Recently, the prototype of the Starship was sent to space on the 20th of April, 2023. It started off quite well, but the Starship was unable to land successfully. The first mission might have failed, but the quest is not over yet. In the near future, you won't have to become an astronaut to take a trip to the moon. SpaceX is trying to launch a reusable spacecraft in space. Well, that's it for today's episode. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the future of transportation. We hope you have found this video informative and thought-provoking. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to Futuristic for more content like this. If you have any thoughts or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the future.